Hello. So, uh, I chose the Egyptian god set. Um, I thought the design of him was pretty appealing. Uh, it's like the hybrid of man and, um, from what I've read online and like a sort of amalgamation of like multiple animals, like an aardvark and, um, like a wolf, um, a donkey, like it, it's, it's kind of a blend of all those things. But, um, I pretty much started off with a printed out image and then just kind of scaled that up between two pieces of paper uh, as sort of like a basic outline and just kind of eyeballed it from there. Uh, the skin I mixed with a sort of brick red uh, acrylic paint um, and a bit of brown to try to imitate that reddish brown hue there. Um, and then the same ordeal with the yellow to try to give that goldish tint using a basic yellow and a bit of orange. Um, the blue is just a basic midnight blue here. Uh, I thought it was a little bit too dark for my liking, but um, it ended up setting out okay, and it was kind of more close to the picture. Uh, later on, um, I tried using some paints for this part, but it ended up resorting to uh, art pens to try to get uh, the smaller cracks and stuff. Uh, not really good with painting overall, so uh, I kind of resorted to this as my comfort zone, but um, did a little felt marker to fill in the spaces. Kind of covering in the little bit of the gaps there and then pretty much finished off with the black pen. This part I forgot to paint with white, which I probably should have. Um, you'll see why later on. But um, for the most part, the skin is colored in. Um, I added in some details for the sash in the middle with some red lines uh, based off of what I saw in the picture. Um, and a bit of like the buttons there, like the red and green and blue. Um, and now I'm doing the background with a sort of just like a basic blue colored acrylic. Um, and uh, this part I was more inspired by uh, another student that did a similar project as well, where it was kind of like a contrast between blue and yellow straight down the middle. Um, so I thought that would be a good representation as like the god of sun uh, with both the color of the sky and the color of sunlight at the same time. And, th and this being a more pale yellow in comparison, so it's not as harsh. But that's the final piece there, and I ended up doing about three to four pumps of the India ink with a little bit of dish soap, as uh, I saw from another student's video that they uh, said that it was a lot easier to remove this stuff, and that's definitely something I wanted to go for since this was pretty much uh, scratch paper from a printer and did not do well with moisture. So I, I also heated up with the hairdryer there, let it kind of sit for a bit. And uh, now I'm on to the removal process. Kind of accelerated the drying process with the hairdryer. Uh, ended up letting it sit out for an extra few hours just in case. But um, I was really afraid of submerging this with hot water uh, or like putting it under the faucet sink. So I just kind of soaked some paper towels in really hot water, like as hot as I can make it and then just kind of like rubbed in a circular clockwise motion to try to like rub everything off. So I pretty much just uh, kept on rubbing this uh, clockwise, you know, I mean, doesn't really matter, any, any direction will do, but uh, I used a lot of paper towels here. Uh, as you can see, the, the pile is kind of gradually increasing, but um, if, this is just like thin scratch paper, so like, it's probably better that I did this um, in the end anyways. I just kept on doing this over and over. Um, some spots ended up turning out pretty good. Uh, other parts I didn't want to press too much because I could feel the paper kind of um, getting torn apart as I rubbed the spot over and over, even with the paint um, kind of protecting it. It was still bleeding through. But um, yeah, the legs were kind of starting to become a bit more visible. I think I went a little overboard with how much I've put on this. I think I could have probably made the coat a bit thinner. Um, 
but I guess that's kind of like some good knowledge for next time. The upper layer there is definitely a lot more dense. I think it kind of thinned out as I went through, but the soap is really helping out. I, I'm really glad that I went through that route because uh, I don't think this would have been very possible without the soap. Um, if it was just straight up ink by itself, I, I think I might have uh, lost this and uh, had to start from scratch, but thankfully it worked out. Um, as I said earlier, the paint over the eye there was something that I really regret not doing because uh, as you can see, it's it's pitch black. Um, I tried rubbing over it a few times uh, to no avail, honestly, but it turned out okay in the end. So yeah, that was my project there. Uh, thanks so much for watching.